Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the Logistical Foundation's Career Guidance 2021. We, today, we are going to be joined by Sebawan Do, who is going to tell us a little bit more about information technology. But before we even get into that, let us firstly look at the, the Logistical's vision and mission. The vision of the Logistical Foundation is to empower tomorrow's leaders through education across the country, to be the leading establishment in academically empowering uh, disadvantaged high school learners and within general communities. To assist learners in pursuing their tertiary education or studies through career guidance and advices. Our the Larger Circle Foundation's mission is to disseminate empowering knowledge about tertiary studies, for example, application, bursaries, or any other form of sponsoring that may become available for funding. We do value perseverance, we do value hard work, we do value excellence, and also we do value respect. So today we are going to be joined once again by Seba Wanklo, who is going to tell us a little bit more about information technology. How are you doing, Seba Wanklo? Hey, I'm okay, thanks, and you? I'm also, I'm also very well said. Thank you very much for joining us today. We really appreciate it as the Large Circle Foundation, you taking time to give us insightful information about information technology. So Siabonga, let, let us not waste any time. Let us get into it. So Siabonga, tell us about the name of the course that you're doing it yourself. Okay. I am Siabonga Lobo. I'm doing applications and communications technology. Mm -hmm. This is something I'm very passionate about. Yes. This is something that I know one day I can change the world with. Yes. I can become the next Bill Gates with ease. I can become yes. the next. I can be so many, so many things at once. I can be a game changer in yes. this industry and to the world. Yes. That's why yes. I chose this program, this this course. Oh, yes, nice, very nice, it's very nice. So Siawanga, let us get into the depth of the course. Let's just get in, into it. Like for someone who doesn't know, who knows nothing about information technology, what is information technology? Um, yes, what is information technology? Please tell us a little bit more about it. Okay, um, first of all, we're, we're talking about the, the information and communications technology. Yes. In our world today, we live in a digital world. Yes. We live in a world where communication is key and data is the most important aspect in any organization or any department or business. Because yes. where you have data, you have your records, financial records, and everything about your business. Yes. So you need people who will understand the word, the world of numbers, the zeros and ones, because not everyone can understand that. Um, yes. At a hospital, for example, yes, it's not all. It's not only about doctors, nurses, mm. medical issues and stuff. It's also about the records, the yes. records of the patients, the information of the patient, the information of the doctors, not to fall on the wrong hands or that information to be always in order. You need an a, an IT specialist. Yes, so yes. that's where we come in. It's not only about working in a certain office or in a, um, a studio where you design apps and stuff. You also yes. work in hospitals. You also work for churches, for, for yes. anything and anything that will, will need information, that, that yes. will have in information and will want information to be protected. True, true, true. Every every institution needs an IT, uh, an IT especially Yes, IT is actually the future of this world. Everyone is like coding and everything. So please tell us about the sub the yeah. subjects required in order for me to be able to uh, qualify for the course. What subject should I do if I'm going to go do my grade 10 and choose a stream? What subject should I choose? Um, it's more, you can do accounting. Yes. There's accounting. Yes. There's mathematics. It can yes. be mathematical literacy mm -hmm. um, and English. You need to be really good in English. In yeah. almost everything, you need to be good in English because that's the medium of instruction. Yes. Those yes. are the, the, the three cores that you mm -hmm. need. Oh, okay, okay. So um, is there any certain percentage in these subjects that you have just mentioned? Is there any certain percentage that I should actually acquire or should I, should I, I, I get or score in order for me to be able to qualify? Like, okay, um, in mathematics, if you're doing pure mathematics, you will yes. need 
a minimum of level three. Oh, okay. To, okay. That is like forty uh, percent. Yes. Yes. Forty percent. Yes. yes. And if you are doing mathematical literacy, mm. um, the minimum requirement is level six. You need uh, like 60, 70, 70 percent. Yes, seventy percent. Oh, yes, seventy percent. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and same... in English, mm. in English, if you are doing first additional language, you will need a level five. Okay. But if you are doing English as home language, you will need a level four. Oh, all right. So for FAL, it's actually um sixty percent for 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 home language. It is fifty percent. Yes. Oh, all right. Understood. Say oh, okay. So tell us the APS score. How much should I score in order for me to qualify to the institution or to get accepted into the high institution? Last time I checked, it was about twenty twenty four points. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm doing a diploma in information and communication technology, it was 20, 24 points. I don't know now what oh. are the requirements, but last oh, time I right. checked. But, all right, all right. But but let us let us just say you should always just make sure that you get twenty four points and higher because always it should always aim higher because the competition out there is as I always say in my live video that it is very tough and very demanding so um exactly. please tell, yes please tell us about the duration of the course how long does it take for me to be able to be fully um an IT specialist the duration of the course is about three years yes yeah to become an IT specialist to attain a diploma in oh. information and communications technology. Okay, okay, is, okay. Yes, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, all right. Thank you. Um, so where can I find information technology other than DET where you are studying? Uh, is there any other? Are there any other institutions that offer information technology? Yes, yes. I think there's also. You can do a degree at the University of Te at the University of Kwazulu Natal. Yes, UK is ten years. It's also called computer science. Yes, 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 and also in University of Zululand. Yes, I think yes. there's also a, a, a degree. There's also um, a diploma in ICT at Mangosut University of Technology. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, all, all right. Thank you so much. So basically, it is um it, it, it is offered in every institution, especially in KZM. Uh, are, are there any yes. um global? I mean, uh, nationally, are there any other universities other than KZM? Maybe University of Johannesburg. I'm sure they offer it too. Yes, they offer it at the University of Johannesburg. Yeah, and also. Yeah. CPUT, Cape Peninsula. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they also offered yeah. at the Tuane University of Technology. Oh. It's also offered there. Okay. Yeah. Basically, it is everywhere. You can find it in every institution in South Africa. Yeah. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Especially universities and the subject technologies. Some colleges yeah. do. Oh, all right. Understood. Yeah. So uh please say um advise us on the employability rates. How high or how low is it when it comes to IT getting hired as an IT specialist? Um, I think IT has a lot of opportunities because since um, the, the, the beginning of this era of the first industrial revolution, yes, we've, yes. we've been ushered to a world of digital technology. We've right. been introduced into greater things through <laughs> IT. So there are so many opportunities, as I've explained before, that it's not always about sitting in an office or sitting in a certain room, trying to build an app, trying to come up with the next great thing. You don't have to be the next the next Bill Gates. You can also yes. work at a hospital. You can also yes. work for your community, like your your counselor. Everyone needs their information protected. Mm. Everyone, everyone, True. even True. our institutions. Because yes. the moment that we have anyone who can access a valuable information, we are in mm. danger because mm. they are going to know things that you don't want anyone to know. The things that are confidential, things that might ruin your life, your finances and stuff. 
Mm, true, true, true. So basically, in the IT information technology is IT uh, in, 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 in abbreviated, abbreviated form. It is in demand. Every, every industry needs an IT. Yes. Okay, yes. okay. So um, what type of a person should I be in order for me to last longer in this type of profession? Okay, first of all, you need to be someone who is very informative, Yes. Someone who's eager to learn new things because when it comes to information mm -hmm. technology, as as the name says, it's information technology, yes, which is yes. something that can change today. It can change tomorrow. In the next hour, you might have something that is totally different from what you you wait when you woke up knowing in the in the morning. So oh, you need to, right. to always want to learn more, to be yes. eager, to yes. be ambitious, to yes. always want to to explore new stuff because if you keep thinking that what I knew yesterday is going to, to help me survive today, you're going to have a problem. You need yeah. to always be ambitious. Oh, okay, okay. So you need to be an informative person. You should always keep updated with the current news, kind everything, you know, just be updated and informed. Yes, you need, you need to be in the loop, yes, with everything. Oh, all with right, everything. all right. Oh, all right. So interesting. Um, so please advise if, like, let's say, um, let's take a look at a metric. I'm doing my metric, and I find out that I do not meet the above requirements that we've mentioned earlier on. That uh, the APS scores, the the percentage required subjects required. If maybe I did not qualify, is there any alternative route that I can take, or is there any alternative that I can use in order for me to end up doing information technology? If I'm, I'm really passionate about doing it. Yes, yes, there is. The, yeah. the Tibet colleges are also offering the yeah. same course. Yeah. But in a, in a lower level, you can start there mm -hmm. and use those results to, to gain admission. Yeah. There are also programs like health certificates mm -hmm. and foundation programs at DOT. Oh, okay. Or okay. the ICT. Uh -huh. um, I, uh, I don't know much about um, most universities, but, uh, but I know for a fact that if you try, if you start at a, a TVS college, yeah. you, you can gain admission. I've had people who have gained admission who are doing diploma in ICT at uh, the universities. They started at the TVS colleges. Oh, all right. Very nice. Very nice. Basically, just because you didn't qualify to get into the university doesn't mean that you should, all your dreams are shattered. You can just use the alternative routes, which is um, like going to college and all of that, as you, as you mentioned. Okay, so understood. Thank you so much, sir. Um, so please tell us um, the fun facts about the course. Are there any fun facts? I'm sure they are. There's, there's, there's so much because yeah. people tend to think that when you speak of IT, you speak of yeah. the nerdy kind of people. <laughs> yeah, who yeah, yeah. Who sits in the dark rooms, wear glasses, <laughs> sit on the computer, <laughs> hack and do stuff. But yeah. there are so many great stuff we can also do. We can create apps. We can create many things. We can make homes, even fridges now have yeah. apps that will, that are able to communicate with our phones, tell us what, what's missing in your fridge. Can oh, you imagine wow. that? Yeah, your yeah. fridge informing you that you are, you are out of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, remember, I remember I once visited a friend of mine that used to tell his own cell phone to switch off the light, open the gates and everything, you know? It's very, it's very interesting yes. how the, yeah, we, the, the world is revolving, slowly, slowly but surely. There are so many things we, 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 we can explore with this if people will just get yeah. that stereotype out of their minds that when you're doing IT, you're just this nerdy <laughs> geek who wear glasses or yeah, sit yeah. in dark spaces and do nothing except stay on your computer it's not yeah. like that mm, true true you just they they think that you're just a nerdy person or something <laughs> yeah yeah i wish that's not true okay thank you very much um Siaboga, for joining us today you really really gave us an insightful information thank you so much for making time for us to be with us there okay so are you on social media if you are please tell us your social media handles uh where can we find you if you want to know more about um the information okay, technology. on facebook i am siabong and Lofa. yes okay on facebook i am siabong and Lofa. yes on instagram it's at siaz 
with an H before the Z. Oh, all right. Then right. on, I'm also on WhatsApp. It's just that I'm not much into into social into social media. I'm always busy with oh, some okay. stuff. As, as I've told you, that information technology is is, is demanding. Interesting. Is interesting. Yes. Yeah, demanding. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Siabonga. We really appreciate it once again. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to find us on social media, please do follow us, like, share the video and everything. Um, we On Facebook is Leda the Circle Foundation, Instagram at Leda the Circle Foundation. You can also find me on Facebook, Seba MC Dollar, on Instagram at Seba Dollar 7. Thank you very much, Seba Dollar. Thank you so much, Seba. We really appreciate it. And thank you once again, thank ladies you. and gentlemen, for watching. Thank you for everything, man. All right.